All right, as promised, I got Grant here with me with If You're Not First, You're Last, Sales Strategies to Dominate Your Market and Beat Your Competition. Grant Cardone, thank you for being here with hey, me th today. Thank you so much for having me. So this is, I'm really interested in this, you know, as a woman, obviously, because you have some specific, uh, I guess, would you call them strategies uh, for women in terms of right. negotiating and, and how to win? Well, it's actually, uh, the strategies came out of a, some survey uh, that was done recently about women in the Washington Post actually hating negotiating, that they hate it. And what's interesting is that uh, article didn't say that men liked or didn't like it, but that they do perceive it differently. Mm -hmm. And in this economy at this time, people have to know how to negotiate to get what they want. And you'll see the layoffs going on. Actually, more men are being laid off in, the, in this economy right now than women. Why is that? And it might be because women are being paid less than the men. Yeah, we're more affordable. That's right. That's kind of like the, the belief. But what I would say to you is that it's possible that um, you're – as women, as a group, could be underpaid because they're not asking for what they want and then backing it up with how to negotiate what is fair for them. And you'd never want to use the, oh, the men are being paid more than I am. That's not going to ever get you that money. It's going to be your ability to negotiate a fair wage in a very, very tight and tough marketplace. That's the tough thing. I mean, when you see there are disparities in terms of compensation at all levels right, that's for right. women versus men and even up on the executive level or attorneys. I mean, I'm an attorney myself. Um, down to when you go to the dry cleaner. Right. <laughs> you know, and women tend to pay more for our garments to get them clean than men do. But like you said, you just can't sit there and whine about it. You have to have a specific strategy That's right. and get involved with the facts for your negotiation to try and get a better outcome. Right. Actually, in the surveys, it was uh, women compared negotiating to the dentist, whereas men compared negotiating to, like, winning a sports, sports. match. Yeah. And so, like my mother, who was, uh, my dad died when I was 10, so she had to raise kids and go to the dry cleaners and take the deal, go to the car dealer and take whatever deal. She was not trained. She wasn't educated on negotiating. Most people are not, men and women. And it's in this environment, when money's very tight and budget is the key word, most popular word in everybody's language right now, if you want to get what you want, you have to know how to make yourself more valuable in the marketplace more needed in the marketplace, male or female, and how to actually uh, convince people that paying you more would be a prudent thing for the company that to do. That it's a good idea it's for them. It's a great idea. Yeah, make them take ownership so they say, you know what, this makes a lot of sense to me. You are right. a high value employee. You right. are someone that multitasks, that's reliable, that uh, you know shows up, isn't calling in sick all the time. Somebody that I need and in I order can't to have afford a quality the organization. You. Yes. And that's, and that's the, the point of the book. It's like if you're not first, it's not a finish line. It's not win a race. It's like if you're not first in your employer's mind or in the marketplace mind, mind or, or the customer's mind, you're going to lose out in this marketplace. It's going to be a very, very tough and long duration. It's kind of like the survival of the fittest. Absolutely. Yeah. The marketplace it's has never been ever. fair. You know, in 1963, I think, the unions passed equal, you would know this, yeah. but it paid, uh, passed the equal pay for wor equal work. Mm -hmm. But nobody's ever gotten equal pay for equal work. Women have definitely, without a doubt, not been paid equally compared to men by survey. The marketplace is not a fair place, period. And nobody can make it fair. No government can come in and say, okay, it's fair now and everybody gets equal shares. You're going to get what you're trained to get. I mean, even terrorists are trained. Mm -hmm. So if people are not trained in a skill set, your certainty and security are only going to come from your training and your ability to adapt to a marketplace. So how would you tell someone that they're picking this up and they want to win? They want to be first, not last, meaning first and foremost in their employee's eyes as a, as a valuable entity for an organization. What do they do? They just start reading it from chapter one, like, uh, you know, in terms of, um, like I see, there's four responses, economic contractions. You've got a bunch of different um, chapters here, advance and conquer. Right, right. Terrible um, words. Yeah. Almost military terms like, okay, because people are in retreat right now. I mean, if you turn the TV on, you're going to see, you're going to hear, too, I like yeah, exercises. Yeah. You're going to hear retreat, contract, back up and budgets. Mm -hmm. You're going to hear save. Save is not what you want to do. This is incorrect content for people to actually grab market. Market, everybody has to grab market, whether you're grabbing a job yeah. or you're grabbing market share because you're a uh, furniture sales uh, company mm -hmm. or your Apple computer. 
the great companies do not compete. Great people, great athletes, great workers don't compete. Competition is not a healthy thing. Mm -hmm. If you look at great companies and people that have made it very, right. very successful in any industry, they dominate their sector. Right. They don't go into it with the competition. They go into dominate literally to put a footprint to place a footprint in that sector. Like Fox News, that's our Fox News. That's our business approach. Advance, that's our conquer, model. dominate, right. grab market share, take it from everyone, expand while everybody's crybaby. Yeah, because we don't look like we're competing with anyone else. No, you don't. You, you look completely separate. Do. So, so what you're exactly. doing is exactly what it takes for people to advance. It's not about a race. It's no, about how do you advance your cause, your belief, your product, your value, your services. And in particular, we like Chapter 11, Act, act Hungry. Always Act Hungry. Yes, absolutely. Well, if you're not first, you're last. You better get this book, Grant Cardone. You can get, get it on Amazon.com, Barnes & Noble, get Borders, anywhere. all of the above. Man, be a winner. Believe be in yourself. Winner. Be assertive. Don't be afraid to ask for what you deserve. Yeah, and, you, and, and I promise you, you deserve more than, than you think there you do. There you go. You heard it here first from Grant.